So here's a deck that has been around for quite a while. Blue Red Storm. Um, the deck has changed a bit over the years. Um, the most recent addition being the Brawl Chief of Compliance. I remember when this deck just got Goblin Electromancer in Return to Ravnica. Uh, that doesn't seem too long ago. So now there's a total of eight um, mana creatures. The deck doesn't play Pyromancer's Ascension anymore, but it does play a lot of redundant um, rituals, card draw, card filtering, and now Gifts Ungiven. So the mana base is fairly straightforward. Um, 18 lands, you don't want that many lands, you don't need that many lands because you have Rituals and Simeon Spirit Guide, and the deck is only two colors, so you're going to be able to find both your colors um, very easily. So we've got both Sleight of Hand and Serum Visions, the two one mana staple card draw, card filtering effects um, of the format. And then, as I mentioned, Goblin Electromancer, but then Brawl is actually even better than Goblin Electromancer. You can get loot, a loot off of a counterspell like Remand, and it also has three toughness, which makes it a little bit more difficult to get rid of. The two copies of Peer Through Depths, those are not standard per se, but they are quite good. Um, they find you whatever you're missing in terms of comboing off, whether it be a, a ritual or a Gibson Given um, or a Past in Flames. For Desperate Ritual, this is the best of the two rituals because you can splice another one onto it in order to make more mana. And then Grape Shot, it's the way you win almost all of your games. So you can either just cast it from your hand, deal a ton, or you can flash it back with the past new flames, or you can remand itself. Um, but normally you can get the storm up high enough in order to win with a grape shot pretty consistently. Metamorphose, this is actually my favorite card in the deck. Um, you can generate you mana as long as you have a an Electromancer or a Brawl, just because it costs only one at that point and it produces you two. But it also fixes your colors when you're going off. Oftentimes you have more red mana than blue because of the rituals. And so Mana Morphos being able to give you a couple of blue mana is pretty important. Simeon Spirit Guide, also kind of... Not standard per se, but there's a couple slots that are up for debate. This is one of them. Get sided out sometimes, but producing one more mana is pretty nice. Um, when In game ones, you're just trying to combo as fast as possible. For Gifts and Given, this card has been so, so impressive to me. Um, normally, the turn after you cast it, you have all of the tools you need to win the game. Um, just because even though two of the cards go into your graveyard that you search for, you have past in flames, so it's, it's almost like you're putting them in your hand because you can flash them all back with, with past in flames anyways. And then one empty the warrens, if, in case you can't win with grape shot, this is an alternative route, and we see three more in the sideboard as well. We've also got pieces of the puzzle, pretty similar to Peer Through Depths, actually, but it can get you both an instant and sorcery. It's a pretty cool card. It also fills up your graveyard um, to help with passive flames. Then we've got Dismember. You want some amount of removal. There are some problematic creatures you might face off against. Whether it's Eidolon of the Redelic, Redelic, Rhetoric, um, or Eidolon of the Great Rebel out of Burn, um, or other hate cards. Maybe it's a Gaddictee, maybe it's who knows, you know. There's a lot of random uh, dorks that can become a problem 
for you. Um, so you've got some removal here. Dismember. Pyroclasm is a great sweeper right now because of all the tribal decks. It also gets rid of something like an Eidolon of the Great Rebel. So I would board it in against Burn as well. One one Lightning Bolt. Some lists play more, but we've kind of spread, diversified the removal here a bit. Shattering Spree is, of course, against any type of artifact-based deck. And then here's the combo slash control um, counterspell package. So you can help force through your own um, combo, like maybe make sure it gifts and given resolves. Or you can stop something um, that your opponent's doing. Maybe you're up against a deck like Ad Nauseam and you want some additional interaction. So this is the deck list. Um, Martin Muller just recently made top four um, in Europe of a Grand Prix there. And the deck is surprisingly consistent. It's great against any decks that don't have discarding counter spells. Um, against something like Rix's Death Shadow, the matchup is going to be tougher um, because you have more to fight through in order to combo off. But that doesn't mean that that matchup is terrible. It just means it's a, it's a lot more difficult than something like, you know, Tron or or you know, a lot of the decks in the format that that aren't going to have as much disruption. So this is Blue Red Storm, and I think it's actually at its best right now, even though it's been played for so many years. I think it's in its best spot that it's been uh, for quite a while. So.